out of office and turn Russia's resources over to the West. And this brings me to a very key point. I think that there is a minority, a, a very powerful elite in the West, that views Russia on the one hand as a threat because it is a national state. It is rooted in Orthodox Christianity and a Russian ethnic national identity. It has been the plan of the so-called globalist elites, people like Soros and Schwab and others, to effectively erase the identities of the European peoples and to flood them with people from North Africa, the Middle East, and Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, this is something that Putin has resisted and most Europeans in the East dislike and will not participate in. So I think Soros back in the 90s, along with many of his comrades, decided we've got to destroy Russia. We've got to fight Russia and, and beat it into submission so that we can do to Russia what is now being done to Germany, France, Britain, Sweden, Denmark, the Netherlands. And uh, having been to in and out of Europe for many, many times over my life and having lived for 10 years in Europe, eight of which I've spent in and out of Germany, I must tell you that uh, they've had a terrible impact on Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't see anything positive emerging from importing millions of Muslim, Arabs, uh, Africans, and so forth. Mm -hmm. In fact, I see the opposite. I see real conflict emerging because the objective was never for any of these people to assimilate into European society. It was always the objective for them to assimilate Europe. Mm -hmm. And so Mr. Putin will have nothing to do with it and will fight with his dying breath to prevent Russia from going the way of Western Europe. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. And I think that's behind. The second part of it is there's a huge payoff to destroying Russia. You get access to endless uh, sources of minerals, uh, oil, gas, an abundance of food, all the things which uh, many of the people at the top in the West would like to have access to and ultimately to control. Mm 